is Christy coming to you from my deck on a lovely day. It's about 65 degrees, so I thought that I would tape outside today. So what we're going to do today for metabolic strength is four blocks of work. Each block has three exercises and each um, block we will do three rounds of and each exercise will be one minute. So we will just do the first block three times through, take a little break, move on to block two, three, and four. At the end, we'll do about five minutes of core. What you'll need today is a variety of dumbbells, a ball if you have one. If not, that's okay, a dumbbell will probably work. Some sort of a mat for the floor when we get to the floor for floor work, um, and a good attitude. So I'm gonna start the timer and we'll begin. So I'm just gonna start with an easy uh, warm up for you. Just march in place. See if we get distracted by anything. I had to move some wind chimes inside. They were a little loud. So let's go ahead and do some heel taps. So with each block, we'll do a cardio exercise We'll do an upper body exercise and then something focusing on the lower body. A lot of these exercises though will be um, compound exercises so we'll be using lots of different parts of our body all at the same time. That way we'll burn more calories, keep that metabolism up. Let's go side to side. Yes, there will probably be some burpees. You can pretty much always count on that with me. Let's add some arms. Side to side. We're gonna bring it down to a squat. Squat down and up. I thought it was gonna be windy out here, but it's not too bad. We're going to hold that squat down and just pulse it. And stand it up. A few more squats. And let's just go ahead and swing out the arms. Forward and back. Tap the toes. And you can do any kind of warm up that you'd like. We're going to start with black one, exercise A. That's a squat burpee. Then exercise B will be a dumbbell overhead tricep extension in a split squat. So we'll be using upper and lower body at the same time. Then we'll do a swing through with a heavier weight. Swing through the legs, bring it up to a goblet squat, and then overhead press. All right, so I'm gonna get my stuff ready. I'm going to grab a dumbbell. Let me get a, well, actually, you know what? For this one, I think I'm gonna use a ball. So I'm gonna have that ready, and this is about eight pounds. All right, so first, we've got that squat burpee. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. You come down to a squat, jump back into the burpee, and jump up. And we will not be doing a push up with this one. We'll start in three, two, and one. Squat down, jump back, and up. You don't have to jump high, especially since this is our first exercise. Probably still getting the muscles warm a little bit. When you bring your feet in, try to bring them outside of your hands and land on your entire foot before jumping up. You can pick up the pace if you'd like. You can also take the jump out or step back, step in and stand. Nothing wrong with that. Let's do one more. Alright, second exercise, overhead extension with 
the split squat. So I'm going to take one eight pound dumbbell. I'm going to hold it in both hands. I'm going to bring it up. Bring one foot forward, one foot back. I'm going to split squat. and we'll switch legs. All right, other leg forward. Keep that exercise up. So we're working upper and lower body at the same time. Takes a little bit of coordination. Also burns more calories. It's what we want in our metabolic strength. Get that metabolism maxed out. We've got three two and one all right now we're going to grab that heavier weight so for this one i will use a ball like i guess this is about eight pounds we're going to swing through stop here squat low and overhead press it's a little bit of a multi-movement exercise we'll start in five four three two and go swing through squat low and press remember on that swing through keep those hips back press up when you press that ball up try to keep it forward a little bit in front of your forehead take stress off the back and the shoulders seconds. This should be getting your heart rate up. Multi-movements. Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds. One more. All right, put it down. All right, that was block one, one time through. Two more times through. Make sure you've got water close by. All right, remember what we started with. Burpee. We'll start in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and go. Remember your modifications. You don't ever want to do anything you're not comfortable doing or that could cause injury. The most important thing is you're moving. seconds. Show you that modification again. Step, step, up, step, step back. And again, when you come forward with your feet, whether you're stepping or hopping, try to bring them wider than your hands. Last one. Great. Overhead tricep extension. Find the dumbbell. Put it up above your head. Doesn't matter which foot's forward, we'll do both. 30 seconds. And here we go. Focus on keeping the elbows forward. Arms close to your head. For that lunge down and up, totally up to you how far down you want to go. Challenge yourself. Keep all toes pointed forward. 
and make sure that your knee doesn't go beyond your toes. Three, two, and stop, switch legs. Your leg forward. Bring it up, put on another noisy truck. And up. At any time, if you want to drop one or the other exercise, you can just keep doing the overhead press and leave out the legs. Got about five seconds left. One more. And stop, good. All right, swing through. Goblet squat to press. Grab the heavier weight, spin through, squat low, press up. It's warming up out here. Don't rush these. Each movement, be mindful of your form, your body position, chest stays lifted. Even on that swing through, try to drop as low as you can on the squat. Make it a goal to touch your elbows to your knees. 15 seconds left. Hopefully you're getting your heart rate up. I know I am. Three seconds. All right, two times through. One more. Back to our favorites, burpees. Am I your favorite? Oh. Ready, here we go. I don't think I have them anywhere else in the workout. So, last time for the burpee today. seconds left. We'll take a water break. One more. Woo! All right. Take a sip. We'll move on to block two. All right, three new exercises. We have a bear crawl forward and back with the jump. It might resemble a burpee a little bit. So a bear crawl, you're down here low on your hands and your toes. We're gonna crawl forward. We're gonna come all the way to a plank. We're gonna crawl back. When we get back right about to here, we'll spring up, okay? Exercise B, reverse lunge with dumbbells. You're gonna hold the dumbbells at a goal post. You're gonna lunge back and up. So that's exercise B. Exercise C, no weights. We're gonna come out to a low squat, toes and knees forward. We're gonna come to the side, lunge and squat. Lunge and squat, okay? So. First, we've got that bear crawl to a jump. So come on out, find that bear crawl squat position. We're gonna walk it out. Walk it out, walk it back, and spring up. Walk it out. Try to come all the way out to about a plank position and spring. This is our cardio exercise. In case you weren't sure. Again, if 
if you want to take out the jump, you can just stand. But that's not as much fun. Get back, spring, get out. 20 seconds left. One more should do it. And up. All right, exercise two. Grab those dumbbells. Probably a little bit lighter. We're gonna start here. And we're gonna alternate lunging back. When we come back, bring our arms forward. Keep those elbows up. Try to keep a nice 90 degree bend in the arms. Squeeze the chest when you bring it in. Again, these moves aren't fast. We're controlling them. Feeling each point of the exercise. Shoulders probably start burning soon. We got 30 more seconds. You might want to think about a lighter weight for the second set. Actually, no weight would give you a workout too. 15 seconds left. Brace the core, help you keep your balance. Three, two, and one. Great job. Exercise three, that low squat to lunge back to low squat. So feet just a little bit wider than hip distance. We're gonna start down here. We're gonna squat, lunge, squat, lunge. It's not exactly how I showed it, but that's okay. What you wanna do is make sure you keep your feet in that same hip distance because when you come back to the lunge, you don't wanna be coming back here. You wanna keep it right straight back, plant it back where you started. Straight back, knees forward. Think about that squat position. Hips drop back. Feeling a burn yet? 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Back to that first exercise, that bear crawl. Walk out, walk back, and jump. All right. Start position. Down like a bear. Walk it out. I'm not sure who named it a bear crawl. I've never seen a bear crawl. But that's what we're going to go with. Keep it low all the way to a plank, lock it up and jump it. Got about 20 seconds left. Walk it back and up, couple more. Use that core. Feel those quads engaging. Last one. And jump it up. Reverse lunge with the arms. I didn't bring lighter weights, so I'm going to go with no weight. So we'll start here. Arms up and alternate the lunges. Hold those arms strong. Just because you don't have any weights in your arms doesn't mean you can't create work and resistance. If you press and open, using those chest muscles when you come forward, 
keep those arms engaged. You'll feel it. Lots of people out walking their dogs today. It's great. Wish I could walk my cats. We've got 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Next up, squat to lunge, squat to lunge, alternating. Set those feet right under the hips. Squat, lunge back. If it does help, you have a mirror so you can kind of see what you're doing. Sometimes your body does stuff and moves kind of in funny ways and you just don't know it unless you can see it. You wanna go straight, straight back, straight back. So you don't wanna to try to slow it down. You've got 10 seconds. In the knees, the knee joint, the hip joint, compound exercise. All right, shake it out. One more time through block two. Starting out with that bear crawl, out and back to a jump. All right, check my timer. Here we go. every other one. That works. Got about 15 seconds left. Hang in there. Doing great. Most important thing, you're doing something, right? Last one. Up. Second exercise, reverse lunge with the fly. All right, set those legs, arms up, go post, and go. Strong arms, purposeful motion. So we're not just doing this. That doesn't get us anything. We're here and press. Squeeze the chest. Got about 30 seconds left. seconds. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together when you come back. Shoulders are down. Pressed into the back. Five seconds left. And stop. Shake them out. Lower the shoulders. Last exercise of block two. We have the squat to lunge. We'll start in the center and squat, and lunge back, and squat, lunge back. Good to breathe. Anyone else forget what day it is sometimes? <laughs> 
I do. Make sure you keep the toes pointed forward. It's easy to let this happen when you come back. Don't want to do that, as you can see what that does to your knee. So straight back. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, two blocks down, two to go. We're about halfway through. Block three, three exercises. Mountain climber, single leg airplane to fly and a wide squat with our heels up. We're gonna pass the ball around, okay? So let's start with the mountain climber. I'm gonna get my blanket out. My hands are feeling this deck surface. All right, we've got one minute mountain climber. Three, two, and go. So what you want to try to do is drive your knees up toward your chest. So you can slow it down to a step rather than a run. Totally fine. Working the core, working the cardio. Can't see my timer. Got about 30 seconds left. seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exercise two. Single leg airplane to reverse fly. Lighter weight for this. And again, no weight is probably fine too. So I'm gonna stand on one foot. I'm gonna lean out. I'm gonna fly back and I'm gonna stand back up. 30 seconds on each leg. And here we go. Now to even add an extra challenge, you can try to not touch that free leg down at all. Every day is different. Some days your balance might be great. Other days it's awful. It's okay, we just have to keep trying. Try and keep practicing. We've got 30 seconds on each side. Last one here. Switch legs. You might find one is much easier than the other. All right. I don't think anybody's perfectly equal on both sides. You don't need a heavy weight for this. You come down, fly it out, bring it down, stand it up. Last one here. All right, nice. Next, wide squat. I'm gonna grab a lighter ball. This is only four pounds. And you can do this with anything, really. We're gonna bring our legs out nice and wide. We're gonna engage those inner thighs. We're gonna come up on our toes. We're gonna move this ball around. We're gonna switch it halfway and take it in the other direction. So we've got some balance, quad work, core, coordination. Sometimes that's the biggest challenge, right? Coordination. Five seconds till we switch directions. All right, let's switch it. Try to keep that chest lifted. Knees out over the toes. 15 seconds left. Squeeze the glutes.
three, two, and one. Back to exercise A, mountain climber. I think what I'm gonna do is take this down to just a 30 minute, or I'm sorry, a 30 second exercise. Keeping in mind the time that I have, I don't wanna take this too long. So we'll just go 30 seconds here. We might cut down a couple other things. I'm trying to make this whole workout about 45 minutes. So we're gonna to try to keep with that. You can always add extra rounds or just do one round. Up to you. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Exercise two. Single leg airplane to reverse fly. Start with whichever foot you'd like. Make sure you got room behind you. So you're not kicking something. Helps me to stare at something to hold my balance. About 10 seconds. Switch sides. Ooh. You can tell when you start getting tired too. It gets harder. Wow. Let's do two more. There's one. Two. All right, low squat, ball pass. Low squat, heels up, nice and wide, pass the ball. Chest lifted, abs are in. Switch direction. All right, let's go the other way. I'm getting a good sweat on out here. Push those knees back. Really squeeze the glutes. Ten seconds. Three, two, and stop. I did not bring a towel. All right, one more round. Starting out with the mountain climber. Thirty seconds. Exercise two, single leg airplane to fly. Just stand to the side this time. Shoulders back, abs in, lean forward. I'm just gonna pretend it's really windy. That's why I can't balance. You can either believe me or not. <laughs> if you know the truth. I'm having a little trouble. Whoa, staring at a leaf. 
switch sides. Let's go up this way a little bit. Yep. There we go. Doesn't seem like there's much going on. There's a lot going on, especially in this leg that's supporting me. All those muscles are firing, stabilizers, trying to keep me balanced. And uh, last exercise of this group, wide squat, heels up, ball pass. You don't have to be on your toes, you can be here. This just adds a little extra work, a little extra challenge. Exercise A, three pulses to a jump. Second one, we're gonna work some biceps. Grab your heavier dumbbells. We're gonna stay with that pulsing uh, rhythm. We're gonna go one, two, three. Then we're gonna come down and do a bent over row, okay? Then third, a little bit more balance. We're gonna come down, touch your shoestrings, Try to keep the back leg up, come up, and jump. For sure, I'm gonna be tapping down with my foot, judging from how it's going. <laughs> so first, three pulses, one jump squat. We'll start in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, go. So pulse, two, three, jump. Pulse, two, three, jump. Got it. As always, you can leave the jump out. You can just come up. One, two, three, and up. You can also, two, three, come up on your toes. Just give it a little bit more oomph. Or do that squat jump. You decide. Two, three. I think we'll cut this to 30 seconds as well. There we go. Biceps. These are about eight pounds. Soften your knees, pull those abs in. We're gonna pulse, two, three, down, bend over and row. Two, three, up. When you bend over, hinge at your hips, push your hips back. When you're up, chest is lifted. two, three, hinge, pull back. Aim the dumbbells to the ribs on that pull back. We're still working biceps. About 15 seconds left. Next up, shoelace to shelf. So, we're gonna reach down to the shoelace, then reach up to the shelf. So we're gonna come down to the shoe, and up, and down, and up. Thirty seconds on each side. 
if your legs are getting tired and you don't want to do the balance part, you can do this. Just try to squat down a little bit or even come down, tap, raise. Okay, that works too. All right, let's go to the other side. the triple pulse squat jump two three hips back chest up smile on the face hopefully you're able to join me outside Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Biceps. Three pulse. One bend over curl. Two, three. So when you do that little pulse, it's not a big movement. Just a little pulse. Moving about an inch. Pull those weights to the ribs. Ten seconds left. Lace to shelf. 30 seconds on each side. Down, pop it up. Down, pop it up. Brace that core. Always, always, always. Five seconds. Other side. Same thing. Tap that foot down whenever you need to. Don't even have to jump. Seconds left. Last one. One more time through. Three spot pulse. Three, two, and go. burning yet. Should be. We are. 15 seconds left. Ooh, squeeze those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Biceps. Sock knees, abs in, three pulse to a bend over row. Pulse two, three, hinge and pull. Pulse two, three, hinge and pull. Pulse two, three, 
keep the core braced, especially if you start to feel this in your low back at all. Make sure you pull that belly button in tight. seconds left. Whew. Let's do two more. Now that breeze feels great. Last one. All right, come down. Shoelace to shelf. seconds. All right, let's switch sides. Fifteen seconds. And on each. The first one, I'll give you a couple options. We need a little bit of room to do this one. We're going to work the front of our body and the back. So, what you're going to do, you're going to start down here, arms up. You're going to bring everything together all the way down, roll over, and swim. Join me. You just want to stay on one side and do that one. I'll tell you when it's halfway and then you can go and do the other half. Or you can come with me because it's fun to roll over. My idea of fun isn't always the same as everyone else's. We're halfway guys. We're only doing this once, by the way. Does that make it more fun? A couple more of these. Last one right here. Bring it up, down. Roll it and swim it out. All right, second. We're gonna hover in the prone position, kind of like we were with that bear crawl. We're gonna hover here. Try to keep your knees about a couple inches off the ground. And then we're gonna saw forward. Your hands where they are. And just move forward and back. Try to keep the back straight, even with the floor, or parallel, I mean. You should just hover forward and back. Not a big movement. Working all kinds of muscles here. Got about 20 seconds left. seconds. Three, two, and one. That one was fun. Let's work the obliques. I want to double up that blanket. Extra padding. Come down to your side. We're going to raise the legs up. Then we're going to come up and squeeze the obliques. 
and over and back down. So we'll do 30 seconds on each side. You should really feel it right here. Legs kick out, bend and up. Five, four, three, two, roll it over. All right, hover those legs off the ground and bring them in and up. Sweat my eye. Here. Five seconds left. Rest. All right. Last but not least. On your back. Legs start up. Shoulder, shoulders off the floor. And here we go. We're going to kick our feet out. We're going to come up and reverse crunch. Out and up. And you want to be sure not to drop too low if your back comes off the ground. So that kick out can be at a 45. It can be higher. We want to protect our backs. You can also lay all the way down. I think it's more challenging that way to be honest. Twenty seconds left. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two. That's it. That was a little bit longer than I had planned, but that's okay. You don't have to do the whole thing. It's about fifty-three minutes. And make sure you stretch, cool down, stretch out those muscles we worked. Did a lot of squats and lunges. Quads might be tight. Give those a good quad stretch. Inner thighs, stretch them out with those side lunges. Stop on your left side. Chest comes down. Stretch, other side, back to center, walk your hands back, now slowly bring yourself up, soften the knees, roll yourself up slowly, arms up, shoulders back, nose feet together, shake them out. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.